Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we have the latest Super Colossal Indoraptor, which I'm super excited about. Besides that, we have lots of things to do today. Let me show you. So what are we doing today? Firstly, we will be unboxing and reviewing the latest Super Colossal Indoraptor. I will show you all the LEGO Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Dinosaurs that we have added to our collection recently. We'll open two packs of the trading cards. Unboxing and reviewing the latest 12-inch concavenator figure. Alright, we will also be comparing the 12-inch concavenator with all the different 12-inch basic figures. I will also show you guys our entire collection of all the different Indoraptors, okay? Alright, so now let me pick up all the 12 inch figures as well as the Indoraptor and head back to the basement Dino Dungeon, okay? So let's go! Alright guys, are you ready to take a look at the Super Colossal Indoraptor, okay? So this is a huge figure. Let's have a quick look at the box. It looks pretty good and of course, you are able to fit it with all the different mini dinosaurs right here, okay? So it's time for us to unbox this beauty. Let's do this. Alright guys, let's get one of the legs out first. This is looking great, oh my goodness. And of course, the tail which is right here. And now let's remove this figure. I'm gonna take my pair of scissors. I'm gonna cut the strings loose right here. One. Two and three. Okay, and let's get this figure out from the box. Right, let's get the body out of the box. Wow, it is looking amazing, guys. Okay, and it's time for us to assemble it. Right, guys, so let's assemble the tail first. You can see it is nicely wrapped in a plastic wrapper. So let's get it up. Wow, you can see the tail is painted very nicely with a shiny sheen on it. And of course, there's like a golden stripe. Okay, let's pop in the tail. This figure doesn't look too big, if you ask me. It doesn't look as big as um, the Super Colossal Giganotosaurus, that's for sure. So the tail is fixed, nicely done, and I didn't use much force as well, like the other figures. And now let's place in the left hind leg right here. You can see it is really huge. It's made of a um, pretty tough material, I would say. And um, yes, let's try to just pop it right in. Let's align it as neat as possible. Let me try to find um, the right way to insert this. Why am I struggling to find the sweet spot? There you go. I'm gonna press it right down. Okay, it doesn't go in. I'm not too sure whether it's um, already fully in. I don't think so. Let's do this on the floor. Okay, let's assemble this. Press it right in. Oh, there you go. Did you guys hear the click sound? I think that is the right way. Wow, it is looking great. Let's flip it over. I think it is roughly the same size as Blue the Velociraptor and of course this is the um, right hind leg just push it right in there you go nicely done wow what a beauty let's place this on the review table alright guys so we have the super colossal Indoraptor that looks absolutely amazing and beautiful okay let's begin by taking a look at the face right here guys it is highly detailed you can see every single scale very nicely crafted and if you open up the jaw you are able to find detailing on the tongue as well the teeth are actually nicely sculpted as well they are soft which makes them pretty saved it wouldn't cut you, that's for sure. The eyes are very nice. Red in color with a black slit pupil that looks absolutely amazing. You're also able to find some quills. 
that are made of very soft material rubber material right here and of course you are able to find different scaling done right over here as well very snake like and you can see it actually has a gloss over the entire figure which is the first super colossal with a glossed finish it looks amazing and if you take a look at this golden stripe there are actually two colors golden and yellow right here and of course you are able to turn the head of course the mouth can be closed it can be open up as well it can move the upper jaw can also move along with the lower jaw which is absolutely incredible these are the arms which are very long because they are not like you know shot like a t-rex and uh, you can see this part the wrist can also be rotated the claws are made of slightly softer material but they're not as soft as the teeth let's move on to the body right here guys you're also able to find some quills which are made of very soft material very cool and amazing the detailing on this is slightly bigger in terms of the scale but there is no golden stripe across the tie which is kind of weird and if you take a look at the legs very bird like looking look like the claws of you know an ostrich they're able to rotate the feet and it has a nice sound as you rotate it which is kind of cool um you know as compared to um the other super colossal okay very nice in terms of the tail you're able to move them move it i mean move it sideways okay pretty cool very nice golden paint across the tail all the way to here not too sure why they didn't like paint it all the way to the um uh, end of the tail but overall i think this is an absolutely incredible super colossal figure i think we haven't seen one for like quite a, some time okay so very nice all right oh my goodness i just accidentally made the jurassic park logo fall fell over like fallen kingdom all right guys next we are going to check how many minifigures the indoraptor the super colossal indoraptor to be exact can actually eat okay we can place in like five right now oranosaurus just pop it right in it is a soft figure so it wouldn't scratch you know the figure um how about a majingosaurus oh my goodness carnivore eating another carnivore and um that is our number two and this is a cantrosaurus i think just pop it right in let's place two more young trinosaurus into its mouth and uh, maybe a Triceratops into its mouth as well, okay? We'll take a pause and right now, let's have a look at this one right here, guys. The Concavenator 12-inch figure. I think it looks really good. And you guys must be telling me, Hey Dan, please open up the latest Hunt and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm sorry guys, this will be for Saturday. So if you guys want to watch me review this, come on back on Saturday, okay? So today we shall take a look at the latest 12-inch Concavenator, okay? It looks really good. I am going to um, cut the box open with the box cutter right here. And let's lift this up. Okay, let's just pull this out so you can see this is a concavenator guys all right let's have a look let's cut the strings loose one two three okay i don't think we even need to cut the one that is holding on to the tail because this is actually very loose okay so let's have a look at this figure you can see the legs are actually inverted so let's just turn it to face the front and let's just pop in the tail okay wow this one seems to be a little bit tough there you go pretty nice i would say so this is a 12 inch concavenator that looks like the doer attack concavenator shall we go and get the concavenator let's go 
Alright guys, we are now at the basement hideout and we do have a concavenator right here so we don't have to go to level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. So let's bring this to the review table. Alright guys, check this out. So this is the 12 inch concavenator and this is the dual attack concavenator as you guys can see the colors are identical. And in case that you guys do not know, I have the one and only concavenator with the eyeball out of the eye socket right here guys <laughs> right okay so yep this is quite a unique figure that i own okay so what's next what shall we take a look at let's open some trading cards shall we okay maybe not let's have a look at the latest lego figures let's do this okay guys so in the previous video i have actually reviewed the latest JP 30th Anniversary Lego Dinosaurs, okay? This is the latest one, which is the Brachiosaurus, which I'm super happy with because I feel this figure looks really good. It is a new sculpt, a new species added to the Lego line. I think this is really well done. The neck can move. The legs can't move, but you can, also, but you can actually rotate the tail. And of course, the neck can be rotated, can be twisted. It's very, very cool. So I really love the Brachiosaurus. Hopefully, we are able to get a new color scheme for it. I think that will be pretty fantastic. The T-Rex, they have come up with yet another color variation, which is kind of like, you know, we have way too many to be honest. And of course, we have the Velociraptor right here. And this, it's a Dilophosaurus, which is another repainted version. Similarly to the Triceratops, this is a new color scheme. I think it looks pretty good. All right, let's move on back to the Indoraptor. Let's fit it with more figures. Let's add in five more. We have added five figures just now. So I'm going to put in an Allosaurus into its jaw. I mean, into its mouth, into its throat, down the throat. Okay, so that's number six. Okay, this is just come one. And um, number two, Stegosaurus into its jaw. Okay. Ankylosaurus, number three. Um, let's choose a smaller one, okay? Small little um, raptor, number four. And the last one, I'm gonna put in a Sakosukus. So total, we have 10 figures in its throat right now, okay? All right. Let's move on to the next item. I'm gonna be opening this one right now, okay? I'm still hoping to get a couple of um, different cards because I can't complete my collection despite opening like two boxes of the trading cards. You know, uh, I, I, I still can't complete the set. So let's have a look at this. This one is Owen with, you know, the Velociraptors. I already have this. And this is basically them handing back the eggs, which is quite cool. This is basically the Stegosaurus. I really have this, but this is a really nice card. This is a shiny metallic card that looks really wonderful. Mosasaurus, shiny card, which is great as well. And what is this? The T-Rex. I think I really have this. The Pyroraptor, not very sure. Probably not. This is quite a nice card. This is basically from the scene where it approached. Owen and Kayla Watt, right? Okay, let's move on to the next item. Okay, next I'm gonna be doing a mini Indoraptor collection right now, guys, okay? So apart from the Super Colossal Indoraptor, we do have the Trek and Attack Indoraptor that was released quite recently as well. Okay, check this out. You can actually rotate the tail. Um, you're able to move the arms. Okay, is there another another button? I don't think so. Yep, so this is quite a nice one right here, okay? So when you press the button, the eyes will actually light up. Okay, let's move on to the next Indoraptor figure. I'm gonna show you guys the 12th inch. Yep, the basic figures right here. We actually have two of them, and you can see the concavenator is actually much taller, okay? So, Indoraptor collection, mini Indoraptor collection. Let's take a look at two more before we move on to perhaps the 12 inch basic figures collection, okay? Two more figures. How about this one? The Battle Damage Indoraptor, probably one of my most favorite one. 
of all time because I really love the Battle Damage series. What about you guys? Do you guys prefer your figures with light and sounds or do you guys prefer without? Let me know down below, okay? Okay, now let's take a look at our 12 inch, some of them, our 12 inch basic figure because I'm not too sure whether you guys are like familiar with the set. So let's have a look at five figures right now. Alright, next we have the Proceratosaurus, which is a relatively new figure as well. This was just released a couple of weeks back. Okay, Proceratosaurus. There is actually quite a number of Proceratosaurus in the 12 inch basic figure set, which I'm gonna show you guys like later on. Um this one, a trusted of the tiger, is actually quite a new release as well. Okay, just gonna put it right here. And this is a Trociraptor Panthera, which is also quite a new release that was released earlier this year. Pyroraptor, probably slightly later, but still considered a new wave that was released last year, okay? One last one before we take a look at the Indoraptor again. This is basically the Edmontosaurus. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Alright guys, time for us to feed the Indoraptor, yes, with another five more figures. How about the Amagasaurus? Let's feed, you know, you know, one healthy and juicy Amagasaurus. I beg your pardon. Some of you guys may not be very happy when I say that. Okay, Indoraptor eating the Tyrannosaurus Rex into its throat. So that's number two. Okay, Therizinosaurus. Okay, number three. Um, the Matrodon. Let's give it a smaller one, okay? Number four, and let's go with one smaller one, which is the um, Herrerasaurus, okay? Let's put it right in. So right now, there are 15 minifigures in his throat. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, reaching the throat right here, guys. Okay, it's kind of full, but I think we can still squeeze in at least like maybe five to 10 more figures. And right now at number 15, <laughs> okay. Now let's move on back to the Indoraptor collection, okay? So the next one, what do we have? The Grab and Growl. Not Growl. Grab and Growl Indoraptor right here, okay? You are able to move the tail. Why is it not growling? I think the batteries are gone. So we definitely need to replace the batteries, but how do we actually do it? Right here, let's open this and replace the batteries right now to save the Indoraptor, okay? All right, guys, we have to pay tribute to the Grab and Growl Indoraptor because I can't bring back his voice. You can see I have replaced the batteries, but he is no longer roaring, guys. Yes. All right. I'm not too sure what happened, but yeah, I will try my best to, uh, you know, maybe repair it. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that, but I will try. I'll still try to replace the batteries, maybe change to another brand of batteries. Not too sure, hopefully it comes back alive. Okay, such a pity. Okay guys, so there are a few more Indoraptors. This is another one. Okay, this is the um, battle damage one which you guys have already seen it. This is probably the one that um, I really like because it doesn't have any sounds which save us the tr issue of you know changing the batteries and stuff. This was basically the very first Indoraptor that was produced. The Super Poseable Indoraptor. I think this one looks really good. Okay, all right. Let's move on to the next item. What shall we take a look at right now? Shall we open up another pack of these trading cards? Hopefully, we are able to complete the set really soon, okay? I'm actually at my second last pack. Okay, this is probably the third last pack um yeah and um we are running out of um packs to open but we still can't complete this one is a pretty pretty cool one i'm not too sure whether i have this probably not this one is one that we already have but it's a nice one definitely and what is this pachycephalosaurus atrociraptor ghost and this one is a very beautiful um ending scene of the t-rex roaring and what is this? Some Velociraptor hatchlings. Alright, beautiful set of cuts right here. 
let's move on to other items let's continue with our basic figures collection okay so now let's have a look at this one which is the dilophosaurus which looks pretty good as well a Trociraptor ghost right here Pachycephalosaurus Proceratosaurus Another color variation, okay? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you guys a preview of what's coming up next Okay, so I actually got this from a local toy store And this is a Gujitsu Triceratops Yeah, it's not a Jurassic World one But I think this one looks looks actually pretty good so hopefully you are able to collect more of this you know prehistoric animals this is a uh, triceratops as you guys can see this one is probably a t-rex and this is a bengal tiger so this one is known as um if i'm not wrong tritops which is a triceratops i think this one looks really good we have another version of the tritops if i'm not wrong on saturday we shall open one of this as well in the hope to find a Spinosaurus because we already have quite a number of um, the T-Rex as well as the Triceratops so hopefully we are able to get the Spinosaurus I think that will be excellent okay now let's move on back to feeding our adorable Indoraptor okay I'm gonna feed the Indoraptor with five more figures a Triceratops ghost right here so down it goes one uh, let's go with the smaller ones because I don't think we can feed all the big ones uh, Parasaurolophus, first it is right now all at the throat guys I think they're kind of like stuck I'm pretty sure it can actually hold a few more um, another Sakusukus so that is the third one fourth Cantrosaurus and um, let's give it a smaller one right here which is the Pyroraptor so right now there are about 20 minifigures in its throat shall we like try to move all the figures down and just give it a good shake okay give it a good shake hopefully it all goes down oh my goodness i have created a mini earthquake right here okay so right now there are 20 minifigures in the Indoraptor guys 20 of them okay so let's try to fit in five more let's try Iguanodon are there like more space right now I don't think so it's still at a throat <laughs> okay Iguanodon let's just fit just four more and let's close it okay um Ceratosaurus number two um Majingasaurus number three I'm pretty sure we can fit in two more. Let's go with the smaller ones, Dimatrodon. Last one, Gigar, a big one for it. So right now there are 25 figures. I'm pretty sure you can fit in five more to be exact. That's for sure, okay? So we have a total of 25 mini dinosaurs in the Indoraptor. Let's just quickly take a look at the other basic figures, okay? We have the Parasaurolophus right here. Spinosaurus, oh my goodness, we have yet to compare it with the other Super Colossal. Let's just take maybe the Atrociraptor and the Giga for comparison. Just a quick one. Okay guys, you can see I have brought the Atrociraptor right here for comparison. In terms of the body width, I think the Indoraptor actually has a smaller width. Okay, let's do a quick comparison. This is basically the width of the Indoraptor as compared to the Atrociraptor. It seems to be taller as well. You can see the height is actually much taller. Yep, you can see it's slanting down right here. In terms of the length, it is almost the same. Perhaps the Indoraptor has a longer tail. Okay, I can't move it up because it would actually topple over. Um, in terms of the face, I would say it's roughly about the same size, that's for sure. Okay, very nice, but definitely it has a taller um body for the atrociraptor but of course the indoraptor is actually much nicer because it has a shiny gloss you can see um the atrociraptor actually has a very matte finish which is not glossy and shiny like the indoraptor that's for sure okay let's do a comparison with the tyrannosaurus rex right now 
Okay, now comparison with the Super Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex, I'm actually quite surprised guys because the Indoraptor is actually taller than the Tyrannosaurus Rex but in terms of the length of the tail you can see the T-Rex is actually slightly longer because I've placed them, you know, yeah, at the same starting point and uh, yeah, it, I'm just quite surprised um, yes, quite surprised, but in terms of the body with the Tyrannosaurus Rex is definitely wider than the Indoraptor, that's for sure. And um, the Indoraptor is definitely, I think, it's the best looking Super Colossal figure so far in the entire series, I, I would say, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, I think that's the end of the comparison. Shall we compare it with another one? I don't think it's necessary, but you guys can clearly tell. The Super Colossal Indoraptor is really, so far, in my own opinion, the best one. Carnotaurus Toro is also extremely cool, but yeah, Indoraptor definitely the best one so far, in my opinion. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now let's just finish our basic figure collection, okay? So we have the Spinosaurus right here, which is the basic figure. We have the blue which is the most common one. The legs are actually kind of loose. I have two more guys, which is a Troceraptor Red and the Lophosaurus right here. So all of these are 12 inch figures. And we have three different color variants of the Pteranodons. All right, let's move on to the Indoraptors, okay? I have a couple of our mini Indoraptors right here. So let's take a look. This has actually fallen out, okay? Alright, so this is the 6 inch basic figure right here. This is the Takara Tomi Indoraptor, which you guys should be quite familiar with. This is basically the Mattel Mini. Okay, take this away. Here's another Mattel Mini but with a glossier shine. This is the um, basic one with, uh, without the glossy shine. And this is a very nice cop topper in my collection. So you can see this is basically my entire collection of Indoraptors. There aren't many around to begin with. Another one right here. And this one is from Takara Tobi. We have two more, which are also from... Okay, this one is from Mattel. And this one is from Takara Tobi. Do we have more Indoraptors? I don't think so. I think I have shown you guys every single one. Yes, that's one more guys, which is... The Funko Pop one right here, which is the Indoraptor, okay? Okay, I think we are nearing towards the end of the video. So what I intend to do is to retrieve all the mini figures, okay? So let's open this. Does it like fall down on their road or do we have like dig them up? Let's I think we have to dig them up because they are actually like Pretty rubberized figures, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Come on, they're definitely way more. They are all stuck inside. Six, there you go, there you go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on, give me a good shake. Eleven. Are there more? Surely there are more. That's for sure. Are they all in the throat? <laughs> let's see. Let's open up the throat and see. I think they're all stuck inside the body. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I think we have every single one of them out here on the table. Let's just have a quick count again, okay? Let's have a quick count again. Just to make sure that we really had 25 inside. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We really did feed the Super Colossal 25 figures, but I'm pretty sure we can actually put in like 5 or even 10 more figures. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. Alright guys, so yep, 
this is the end of the video i'm very happy with today's video because i'm going to be adding this indoraptor to our shelf later on which i'm so so excited about i'm not too sure whether i'm able to give you guys a preview of what how it looks like you know in the shelf on the shelf um in the next video guys it's gonna be exciting let me just get my camera off the tripod next video which is saturday we will be reviewing the hunt and charm tyrannosaurus rex which is looking absolutely awesome we'll have another look at the indoor raptor that's for sure we'll open one of these eggs right here guys um we have two more packs right here two more packs of um you know the trading cards to be opened we're gonna open them and um yeah this is actually my small little library of dinosaur books guys this is actually quite cool yeah i just bought this dictionary of light dinosaurs which is awesome um, i'm gonna show you guys like next in the next video um i'll probably show you guys this one again not too sure whether you guys have seen this and i'm not too sure whether i should be opening this or should we just display them in this box all these are vintage figures guys okay and i think that's about it we have one more of this to be opened that's for sure the last one oh yes i have a surprise for you guys okay i have a surprise for you guys we have a very cool baryonyx to be opened so stay tuned for that that will be up next week it is a baryonyx with mechanical arm it is a custom made baryonyx i'm very very excited about that okay thanks for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye hey guys welcome back to the monster island room so this is basically the new home for the super colossal endoraptor okay sitting next to the atrociraptor and of course the latest tyrannosaurus rex and the giganotosaurus um and here is basically the brachiosaurus the first version which is right here and the later release and of course we have the dreadnoughters right over here and um this is basically the rumble and raw giga from imagine next okay so this is basically a new home so just a quick update so i've basically placed the latest transforming dinosaurs right here i think it looks really good and all the different vehicles we are expecting a new transforming dinosaur i mean transforming t-rex as well as a dilophosaurus coming soon so this will be the new home i've actually bought this which is a very cool set of godzilla versus kong so i may do an unboxing of this on more than probably okay and this is basically my godzilla collection right here all right thanks for watching this this is the basement hideout yeah there's so many updates and um the plush figure is actually ready. All the different figures will be coming really soon, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.